Hello and welcome to Gospel Library App Tutorials. My name is Scott and today we'll be covering a basic Gospel Library App Scripture Study skill. The skill today is how to mark a verse, change that marking, and delete that marking. So let's go ahead and open up to our Gospel Library App. I'm going to touch in the top left hand corner here, Scriptures. I'm going to touch today, let's go to the Doctrine and Covenants. Let's go to section 1 of the Doctrine and Covenants. Uh, let's say we're reading along and we come to verse oh, 32. 31 and 32 give me hope as I'm reading along. I want to mark those some phrases in there, or maybe the whole verse, doesn't matter. Uh, here's how you do it. You put your finger down on the word. Let's just start. Uh, I want to get the phrase in 32 that says, He that repents and does the commandments shall be forgiven. You just hold your finger down on... Uh, the first word, you'll notice at the top left there's a little blue ball, bottom right there's a little blue ball. You just grab that ball and you can drag it as far as you'd like. You can do bunches of verses, you can do a small little word, you can do a phrase. I might grab that phrase. Uh, I want to, as I come to think about it, I want to do this whole verse right there. Perfect. I just grab the left one, pull it up. Now you'll notice that this little uh, pop-up box that opens up as that's selected. I have these different options. If you look at the top left, there's this option that says mark. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. Great. As I tap that, it turned it yellow and it kind of looks like a uh, marker, like a yellow marker that just uh, highlighted that. If I want to change that now, so if I like it, I just keep it. But if I want to change it, you'll notice up at the top left, it says style where it used to say mark. I just touch on that. And you'll notice there's a tiny little gray arrow underneath the left uh, most A. That means that's what's being used. If I tap in the middle A, let's see what happens. If I tap on the middle A, it underlines it in yellow. If I tap on the far right A, nothing happens. Not sure what that A is for, actually. If you look up at the top, you have this whole palette of colors. If I just start touching different ones, you'll see what happens. It can uh, change the color. Um, and again, I can tap on that left A, and I can make it more of a marker. So you just pick whatever color you want. Let's say I want that blue. Blue's good. All you do is tap away from uh, that little box, and it fades away, and now your verse is marked. If I come along later on and realize, you know, I don't know why I marked that, I want to take it away here for whatever reason, you just tap anywhere on the marking. It pulls up again. Again, I can change it under style if I wanted to. But let's say for this instance, I want to uh, delete it. So you'll notice down in the bottom right hand, it says remove. You just touch on remove, and it's gone. And that's that. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, how to mark a verse, change the marking, or delete the marking. Thanks for seeing the next uh, tutorial.